We are going to get questions started off with Ryan Clark. Hi, Sophia. Um, what have been your thoughts on, on this kind of extended rest and opportunity to continue training for the team uh, with, with no game in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, it obviously sucks to not be able to play that game, but, you know, the benefit was extra rest. Um, we got a chance to kind of step away from the game and, and get a little break physically and mentally. And I think it it's only going to help us be, you know, more energized, more refreshed and just excited to get back out and, and play. Right, next, we'll go to Annie Peterson. Hey, Sophia, I have a couple of questions, if that's OK. The first one is, um, you know, you're going you're going into the season and you've got a new coach and kind of a new look. How do you feel about how the team is progressing um, at this point? And, you know, what do you guys have to work on? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there was a lot of change going through the season uh, after last season. So it's definitely an adjustment. But I think it's really exciting because I think it's kind of a chance to, to start fresh and, and do new things with this group. Um, I think we have a really amazing group. And I'm excited for, for what we're you know going to do and have done already. So it's, it's exciting. It's definitely a work in progress. And we're, you know, continuing each day to just build those relationships within the team with, you know, amongst the staff. And, and I think it, you know, once it all comes together, it's, it's going to be really, really exciting. Have there been any newcomers on the team that have really stuck out to you? I mean, I think everyone is, is playing their role to the best of their abilities. I think, you know, I could name off every single person on this team. Everyone is committed to getting better each and every day to, you know, coming in with a smile and, and just wanting to get better and help each other grow. So I could, I mean, I would name every single person if you ask me who's stepped up, who's, you know, done their role, who's proven themselves. It's, it's the whole team. And I think that's what makes us so great. Um, one more um, kind of unrelated question. Um, the national team had a recent starting lineup that was more diverse than any other team that has started. Um, how important to you is the fact that the national team is including more diverse faces, especially being a role model to young girls? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's great. I Representation matters. And I think for young girls to be able to, you know, look on the screen or come to a game and see a lot of, you know, people that look different, um, it's great. I think it's it's amazing. And I think at the same time, it, it doesn't matter if you can play, if you're, you know, if you're qualified to be on that team with with what you bring to the field, that's what, that's what matters. And, you know, if it so happens that a lot of us are, I diverse it's I think it's great and it's just you know another another way to inspire the the younger generations and specifically you know young young kids of color to let them know that it is possible and that they can have big dreams just like we did and and that they can work hard and make them happen thank you thank you Annie next we will go to Melina Gaspar Uh, hi, Sophia. Thank you for your time. I, I had to quit. I have two questions for you. Um, the first one, I wanted to know a little bit about your personal goals for this season. And the other one is about the next match. Since the Thorns already collected a draw and loss in preseason, I wanted to know your expectations for the next match. Thank you. Yeah, I think in terms of my personal goals, it's just to continue to grow and get better and play games, stay healthy. I mean, I, I have a lot of little goals. I think the bigger ones, I, I want this team to go far and, and win, you know, win the league, win everything that we can win, because I think that we have the, the people to do that and the quality to do that. So, yeah, I mean, I just want to help the team in any way I can. I, I obviously hope to score goals and, and get assists because I feel like that's what I can bring to this team. Um, and at the same time, just grow as, as a player and a person. And then 
going into this game, I think, you know, obviously it's a rivalry game. Obviously, every time we play them, it's hard and it's a grind for 90 plus minutes. So I think just bringing the energy from the very beginning, um, it's a home game. So using that to our advantage and just playing together as a team, showing, you know, all the work that we've put in and, and the chemistry that we've made, putting it out on the field and producing, you know, goals and, and just overall good soccer. Okay, next, we're going to go to Leo Bodwin. Hi, thanks so much for taking the time to meet with us. Um, kind of going off Molina's last question, obviously going off the results against the rain, but also that you guys have played the rain during preseason, during the Challenge Cup, just like a lot of times so far this year. And you're like in the second game of the regular season, you're already playing them again. And I guess I'm curious what getting to play a team that many times early in the season, like what kind of lessons you can take away from that? Yeah, I mean, it is, it is crazy. I, our assistant coach the other day in the meeting, we were doing our like game prep versus uh, rain. And he was like, this is crazy. We're only the second game of the regular season. We've already played this team like five times. So it's, it's pretty wild. We, we do end up playing them a lot. This year has been, I mean, already we've played them so many times. So it's, I mean, it's challenging because I'm, you think you should know what to expect, but a lot of times every game is different in its own way. So regardless of how many times we've played them, it's always going to be a hard game. It's always going to be a rivalry, but I think it does help to kind of better understand them and, and at the same time understand ourselves and what we look like playing against them and what adjustments we need to make and, and where so that each game we play them, we just continue to be a better team and hopefully get, get the result that we want. I'm going to go back to Ryan Clark. Hi, Sophia. Uh, what do you think it says about the depth and balance of this team uh, that you guys were able to get a, a result like you did against Kansas City, despite both you and Hina uh, only coming in for the second half? I think it's great. I think what every team wants is depth and to be able to put any single person out, you know, in the starting lineup and to come away with a result and to get goals and to create chances. So, I mean, it's great and it speaks a lot about our team. And and I think especially with such a long season, so many games, international breaks, it's it's going to be huge to have a team with depth and a team where we can, you know, put anyone out there and trust that they they will get the job done. 